Improving revenue generation in Cross River State. House of Assembly confirms appointment of chairman and members of Internal Revenue Service. Federal Ministry of Communications and Constituency Office of Senator Asuko Ekweon organizes children and teenagers for the training Buildathon Digital Summer Boot Camp in Calabar. Plus, hike in fuel price and scarcity of commodity. Correspondent on fact-finding mission in Calabar. Details shortly. It's good to have you on NTA Calabar News. I am Paul Abel. Now the news in details. The Cross River State Internal Revenue Service has been urged to be committed to improving the revenue generation of the state through several innovations and initiatives geared towards the development of the state. This was during the confirmation of the nominees for chairman and members of the state internal revenue service by the Cross River State House of Assembly. Correspondent Uduak Etim reports. Confirmation of Edwin Okun as chairman, Ndo Maude, Francis Higgins and Ntai Pican as members of the Cross River State Internal Revenue Service followed a letter from the state governor Basio II for the House to grant its request for consequential confirmation of the nominees as read by the clerk of the Cross River State House of Assembly, Catherine Ubi. Speaker of the 10th Assembly, Elbert Ayambem, commended the governor for appointing people with integrity and being gender sensitive, as well as spreading the appointment to the three senatorial districts of the state. He, however, urged the chairman and members of the Internal Revenue Service to ensure effective service delivery. Members of the House had earlier made their contributions. The chairman of Internal Revenue Service, Edwin Okun, highlighted several innovation and initiatives geared towards improving the state's revenue generation. Organizing the taxes, following what the federal government is doing, uh, because we want to reduce the number of taxes as much as possible to make life easy for people. The chairman also stated that the inclusion of new members into Internal Revenue Service team will increase their capacity for revenue generation. In Calabar, Udwak Etam, NTA News. We go for a commercial timeout now. The news will be back shortly. Please stay with us. <laughs> NTA 
NTA Calabar presents Obi Utube in collaboration with Apalak. Obi Utube showing on NTA Calabar every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. For sponsorship, please call Siri 0813-676-7207 or Jen 0806-353-3069. This is Two Smile Hotel and Suite, giving you the best of hospitality. Under a well secured environment with reliable power supply. Come, savour the aura of royal treatment. Let's pamper you for a while with exotic drinks from our exquisite bar, continental and African dishes in our homely restaurant. Classy and spacious rooms ensuing lasting comfort we've got the luxury hosting you and your guest in queensley conference truly an indelible impression to smile exclusive access to unique experience Are you looking for a secured environment with good parking space and a natural ambience? Then look no further. NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground has got you covered for marriages, parties, and all kinds of events. Have an event at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground? You stand a chance to get a discounted rate for your event coverage. For bookings, please call Jane 0806 353 Celebrate your events at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground. NTA Calabar, the station for the people. It's good to have you back on the news. Now to the rest of the stories. More than 300 children and teenagers within the ages of 10 and 18 are being groomed on effective utilization of technology in Cross River State. The four-day training tagged Buildathon, a digital summer boot camp, is in collaboration between the Federal Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy and the constituency office of Senator Asuko Ekpeyong. Correspondent report. The collaboration between the constituency office of Senator Asukwe Ekwe on Cross River South and the Federal Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy is to catch them young and inculcate in these young persons the desire to embrace a basic Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, STEM skills, and general technology. The whole purpose of this training is to expose them to digital technology, um, empower them with the skills. Technology is the future. Um, technology is becoming more ingrained into our day-to-day -day lives, right? So we want these kids to grow up empowered, grow up ready to be able to um, take advantage of, this, of these opportunities. The world has far has gone far ahead of, of where, where we are as a country, where we are as a state, and but we want our, 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 the future generation to catch up. Our senator, is, our senator, the facilitator, is a young man, so he believes in improving our youth, improving our school children. So, in catching them young, we targeted 10 to 18 years old because that is that's one of the first stages of a young child that that uh, that they have interest in technological advancement. So. They have interest in technology. Most of them are already uh, operating laptops in the house, but they can't really know how to use that laptop too. The lead trainer takes the students through introduction of computer operations, generation of computers, as they are divided into two groups, junior and senior, where software such as Squash and Raspberry Pi are explained for the two sections preparatory to the hands-on experience segment which is supervised by instructors. What we have for the students 
uh, we have the Scratch program, basically for gaming, because a lot of people are making so much money in game, game industry. So we want to inculcate that into our children uh, here in Cross River State and also Internet of Things. Some of the participants speak on their experience. I've learned so much about the Raspberry Pi con. Like right now, we're about to create a firefly. You know, a lot of connections and you know, a lot of things to process through your brain. And it's really coming in. And what I expect throughout all these days is that I'm be I'll be able to, you know, process everything. And I've learned a lot of things in a short time, hands-on experience, and how to program and how to use different programming languages like Python to build up games. And I expect a lot of things in these four days I'm going to come here. To perform like different activities from scratch and the different characters I can use to make and create things like games, videos and other stuff. And for the next few days, I'm thinking maybe I could get a better understanding and knowledge of things I've already learned. At the end of the four-day training, these young lads are expected to boost their capacity in technology for a better future. In Calabar, Paul Abel, NTA News. With the hike in fuel prices and the difficulties Nigerians encounter to access premium motor spirit, PMS, also known as petrol in the country, NTA News crew went around Calabar Metropolis to ascertain the cause of the situation and the way forward. Miracle Edo reports. NTA News went around Calabar Metropolis and observed that most of the filling stations were under lock and key and not dispensing for. In the process of investigating the cause of the situation, NTA News crew caught up with officials of Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority who were on the same mission, going around various fuel stations, checking fuel storage facilities, dispensing pumps, taking documentation at each fuel station and verifying the quality and quantity of fuel being dispensed to customers. Stations found guilty of fuel hoarding and culpable of other offenses were sealed as well as sanctioned with other penalties. They were also at the Calabar depot to see the tank farms to ascertain the loading of fuel to trucks. To ascertain the loading of fuel to trucks, as some were loading the product, while others were not. Some Nigerians and customers speak on the challenges. My problem is that this country, since they remove subsidy in this country, people are suffering. People are suffering everywhere in this Nigeria. Every day, fuel is increasing the price. And we don't know the reason why fuel is increasing price every blessed day. Uh, most of our drivers, most of them, they reach about one, one, one or two weeks here. Some, some are better, some are past two weeks. They are here. They are waiting for, for fuel. Please, I want government to assist us, please. Give us enough fuel for Nigerians. Some managers speak on the first situation in the depot and appeals to consumers to be patient with them. As you can see, operation is going on and we are doing loading and uh, distributing it. So, because of that, the place must be crowded. You understand? So, you can see these are the loaded trucks and we have the empty ones. And some are still under the gantry that is still loading, you understand? And these are the people that own the truck, which is our customers. But we are loading. We are not loading for it. The regional coordinator, NMDPREA, Comfort Ajayi, speaks on their findings. Oh yes, uh, we went out to sanitize the old town, the state, about not selling in the jerry can. Then we are trying to stop those who are ordering for because we, we have been monitoring the queue in Calabar for so many months now. We have not been experiencing any queue. But just recently we noticed that there are queue 
coming up. So we have to go out again to go and ensure that the filling stations are not holding fuel. And then to check that they are not under dispensing. As you can see us, that we gauge their pump and see whoever that is under dispensing and who is not. The people commend NMDPRA's efforts to regulate filling stations, which demonstrates commitment to upholding standards and ensuring the safety and reliability of fuel distribution in Nigeria to avert artificial scarcity. In Calabar, Miracle Edo, NTE News. Those are the stories trending on our channel this day. Don't forget you can equally watch this newscast on various social media platforms of the NTA Calabar, including X, Facebook and YouTube. On behalf of the entire crew, I am Paul Abel saying, do have a beautiful day.